Good to see you. Hi, Miss Linda. How are you? So good to see you too because today is Easter and I am so excited. And it's not just because I might be having cinnamon rolls this morning, mmm, or maybe an Easter egg, egg hunt later, or maybe, ooh, I might have chocolate later. Those are all great things that come with Easter. But the most exciting thing about Easter and the real thing about Easter is that we're celebrating that Jesus is alive. And that awesome Jesus, he changes everything. He turns everything upside, upside down. down. Oh, here it goes. Wait for it. There we go. Jesus <laughs> changes everything. That's right. Jesus is so super cool and he changed everything. He showed us new ways that we can love each other and care for each other. And one of the ways that he did that was to show us what it's like to be humble or to have humility. Miss Laura, can you show us a little bit about what humility is? Sure. Humility, putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Jesus did a great job at showing us that we should put others first. We're not going to put ourselves first all the time. We're going to put other people first. So let's see what our scripture was. Do you remember what book it was in? Philippians. Philippians. I bet you got it. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Miss Laura, will you please read us the scripture? And if you know it at home, I want you guys to read it too. Yeah, read it with me. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. Philippians 2, 3, nerve. Awesome. That was so great. Okay. So let's take a look at ooh, our picture from last week. Okay. So let's remember where we left off in our story. So last Sunday was Palm Sunday and we celebrated when Jesus came into Jerusalem and everyone was waving their palms and putting their coats on the ground and people said, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And then Jesus went to the temple and he did a lot of teaching. He taught a lot of parables. Remember what a parable is? That's a story that teaches you something. And Jesus told a lot of parables. Then he, oh, he ate with his friends in that upper room and he washed their feet. And then he went to a garden. And that's where our picture is. He's in a garden. And do you remember the name of that garden? It's Gethsemane. Gethsemane. That's right. Jesus was praying in this garden. And do you know why he was praying? Because he needed strength. He needed strength from God. And you know what? When I need strength from God, I pray too. That's what I do. When I need strength, I pray. So Jesus was praying in the garden. And we learned to put, put others, others first. first. Jesus time and time again gave us great examples of putting others first. All right. So let's see what today's picture is. Ooh, Miss Laura, can I you can't, see anything in there? I, I can't see anything, Miss Linda. Let's see, there's grass and birds and flowers, but then there's this big hole. <gasps> it's kind of black in I there. I think it might be empty. You might be, we're gonna have to find out. Woo! Today's story talks all about the empty tomb. So here's what I want you to do. I need you to stop the video you're watching right now in just a second, and you're gonna go back to your email and you're gonna click that second link and that's gonna show you the music video and the Bible story for today. And you're gonna see that empty tomb there, okay? So we're gonna count down. Three, two, one, click. <laughs> 